I remember the game, it had been obviously built up in the, in the press and we were all anxious to, to play. It's not often nowadays that we get to play some of our home nations. To qualify, you have to, you've got a little bit of nerves about you and, uh, and also you, you've got a little bit more nerves because it's the, uh, you know, it's Wells and it's really close. I can remember it being a, a really big game. Other than a win, I think uh, England would have got uh, slaughtered. But, um, you know, football, anyone can win on the day, you see, especially international as well. It was a qualifier after all, but it definitely adds some spice when, you, when you're playing a home nation team. And from my point of view, I've um, lived just over the border in Wales um, for most of my life, so I was probably more anxious than any of the other lads to, to get a good result. With it being Wales, then most of the team we knew about, we played alongside or played against regularly. You know, Ryan Giggs, uh, uh, you know, Gary Speed, you know, those guys can do things uh, on the day, you know, you never know, you could do a couple of tricks and open people up and slide someone in. Um, you know, you always got to be mindful. I was probably a little bit, a bit twitchy before that game, but it was a great atmosphere. I mean, we, you know, when we, when Wembley started, we got knocked down and then started getting built again, we, we went around a lot of different stadiums and, and I think everyone um, was unanimous in, in saying it, it worked great. But we did play the majority of games at Old Trafford and um, that almost became our second home. Obviously the Man United lads were probably felt a little bit more relaxed on the pitch um, because they're obviously you know how that you know people say oh home and away advantages and things like that uh, and it really does it really does help. Frank Lampard um, shot. I think somebody played the ball into me and I held the ball up and, and uh, set it up for Frank and then he shot straight away and I was trying to get out of the way of the, the ball um, and as I sort of went to jump one of my trailing on my, my standing leg was, was still on the, on the floor and I think the ball was going into one corner it hit my standing leg and went into the other corner. I think if, if that goal was scored nowadays I think it would be given to me. Oh he's off Owen not Delaney. Typical centre forward isn't he? You know, Michael is, uh, you know, he's, he's always going to claim anything from, you know, any ricochet and whatever. He's, that's typical centre forward um, banter, really. Imagine if I'd been on the uh, 49 goals there and that was for the Charlton record. I'd have to put in a complaint to FIFA, but I'll leave it. Probably the one goal that I can't claim. I think Garth Crooks came up to me in the tunnel and he said, did you touch that? I said, obviously, yeah, he smacked my leg and went in the other goal. Um, he said, so are you claiming? I said, well, if it can be claimed, then yeah, I'll, I'll uh, of course I'll have it. It came under Tannoy that it was Frank Lampard and you wait for the referee, put it down as his goal and whatever, so uh, I didn't kick up much of a stink. In the international, you know, uh, you need players you can turn a game, you know, uh, in seconds. Uh, and Rooney is, Rooney is definitely one of those players and Having him back was definitely a, a massive boost for us. You'd have to say that the biggest impact he's had was was in that European Championships prior prior to that game. Um, you know he was fantastic in, in that before breaking his foot, and yeah, it would have given everyone a, everyone a lift. You know, players and crowd alike. Core Wayne had hair there. Well, whilst there's one, you, you know, you quite you, you just never know ricochet or a header, or corner, or whatever. You just don't know. You know, Sven is Sven. He, he you know, he's quite relaxed, and uh, Sven is not going to say too much uh, once you know we're in control of the game. And I don't think he, you know, I don't. He didn't really say much to kind of push us on. I, I think he's, he's more saying let's keep it the same way and push on for the second goal. I think he created a good atmosphere around the camp. You know, it was relaxed and you know it was enjoyable to go away with England and Sven brought a real sort of fun to the England team you know he was relaxed about what we did you know we could play golf we could you know do different things and at the right time and um, you know I enjoyed my time under Sven. Picked up by Nicky but again and Beckham again oh brilliant goal until that goal went in uh, we were kind of Playing good football, but always, you know, on our toes, just in case. It was unbelievable when you look at it again, and it literally was right in the top corner. I mean, it skimmed both crossbar and post, and um, sort of, you know, typified a David Beckham goal, really, um, stereotype David Beckham goal, and um, 
again, when you look at it, the goalkeeper sort of, when you look at it from behind the goal, he really does get close to it. I mean, it couldn't, he couldn't have put it in any other position in the goal and scored. And once that second goal did go in, I think you know you could you could tell the whole team was uh, completely relaxed and started to kind of ex well, express themselves even more. Michael Owen trying to get away from his marker, and he's done just that. Owen for England. Oh, this is brilliant! Oh, I should have passed. Should have passed it to Bex there. I was probably so in, intent on on uh, finishing off a, a mazy run than uh, than I never spotted him. But yeah, that would have been nice to to score against Wales. But I half did, didn't I? <laughs> As a team, the, the the qualifying kind of games. You know, started going our way, and uh, we started picking up a lot of a uh, lot of results, and, and results started to go our way as well. So, um, it was a great campaign for us. We topped that top that group, and um, quite comfortably. And yeah, it was um, you know, it, it wasn't the, the hardest group in the world, but you know, we still had to win it, and, and we won it. And, and obviously, the Wales games were always going to be tough games, especially playing them away and. Um, yeah, to top that group was a quite a good achievement.